But so the plane by numbers, but I went to, and what I found is like I, I didn't spend enough time with it, unfortunately. But I was struggling with the rhythm and the timing of it, and still there. Uh, and then trying to pick out the tune amongst the chords, and I was not able to make any progress. Then. No, that's not a good. So, anyways, the one, two, three, six, four, five, one, five. There you go. That's easy. And then yeah. Yeah. You know, that's that part. We can do the math. Yeah. Uh, but trying to get the some right the chords change too quickly for it to be like a gentle finger picking song because it, it's two beats per chord well you were doing it two beats per song okay that's i like hearing that because that sounds a whole lot better but i kept hearing the first one i think was three four which it seemed to play better but it didn't you couldn't say the words fast enough or, or to make that ah better. you know why it sounds a little like that is the accented word of every two beats comes just before the first beat. Christopher Robin and I walked along. Yeah. And that can make it feel like that's a beat. And then there are two beats after that. And it's not. Well, I didn't get that thing. Well, that's okay, but <laughs> well, and I'm just totally speculating there. Now see right there you're at your your that can absolutely work. At that speed Take it down from the beginning. Three, four. Christopher Robin and I walked along under branches lit up by the moon. And so it that type, that picking thing in there would either have to go quite, you know, well, 20% faster than that to be up to the speed that they're doing. Or, um, well, and it absolutely could. With a little more heavy accent on the bass notes and less emphasis on see right there I brought all the chord in like pretty equally mm -hmm. and at the speed that it needs to go that can get a little cumbersome and, and just feel like kind of an assault on the ears of, of um, yeah, monotone and, and loud um, and, and so I would usually play this with a little bit more um, Something like that, playing the bass notes and then kind of lightly strumming the rest mm, of it okay. to, to hear a little bit more of the, the the harmony of the chord. You know, when you when you're picking all when you're picking out each note individually, especially when you only have two beats of it, which means you're only going to play four notes, even if you double up on a couple of them or something like that. Um, the you're not going to hear kind of the overall texture of the chord or the the um, harmony of the chord as well as if you do something like this, where maybe on that third beat I lightly strum everything or the third eighth note, which would be really the second down. But a lot of the point of working on this was more just for the math involved rather than a song that, that I think you should add to your repertoire. Now, that doesn't mean don't don't go there. Like if, if you know if you're kind of if you become fond of the song, that's great too. It wasn't one that I laid away wondering how to how does it do that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so I so I really only wanted to do this to get you get you thinking okay. by numbers. All right. Rather than then say this this is not what I would consider one of my essential songs. That's well, a very effective way of, of getting the numbers into your head um, because you just have to do it. But, but okay, E. You know, yeah. And you go through it and it's, I still have not gotten to a point where I can just drive down the road and start reciting C, F, G, E, A. Me. Okay, but no. you've come, you know, you've made some big strides in that direction. I mean, just because you're right here, you played through it in C and E without, and if I asked you what chord three was in E, you might not be able to spit out G sharp minor, but you might, okay, way to go. <laughs> um, but you also would know that it's like, you, you'd see the relationship of one, two, and three in E.